Well, I was here to talk about the, the, the power of education um, in, in terms of changing attitudes. And um, one of the great sort of difficulties we have in our society today is, is racism. And um, one of the ways I think we can deal with that is educating people about the past. I think people think the past is sometimes normal or natural and that, um, you know, and it is the past, we should forget it. But I think with education, we can tell people the reasons why we have the world as we have it today. It's not that we can change it. But I've found that people, if they are aware of the truth of a situation, just like slavery and racism, they will change attitudes and will act fairer. And I think in a, a diverse society like ours, where there's no going back, education is the key in terms of, you know, changing lives for the better so that society can progress. Well, what they can do is what the various people have done for me. For example, two headmasters. When I, I came to London, I had to go back to school because I wasn't 15. And uh, Mr. Bullen, the headmaster, I remember his name, even though it was 1955, he insisted that I stayed not just for one month, but I stayed for one term. And it was that one term that allowed me to become more familiar with the society. And I played cricket and it got me transferred to the grammar school. And the headmaster at the grammar school, Mr. King, he um, not only took me in to play cricket, he also spent a lot of time making sure that the society didn't overwhelm me and I stayed there from 1955 to 1958. So those two um, uh, um, headmasters, um, you know, changed my life. And therefore, I will always say that education and progress go together.